thought experiment. Imagine the following. In a region of space, well away from any gravitational fields, there is a very long straight rail. Two identical spaceships with equal and opposite velocities of 0.6 c flying along the rail undergo a glancing elastic collision and after the collision are travelling as shown. Both spaceships are diverted away from the rail with equal but opposite lateral velocities. An observer in either ship would see the rail moving quickly past their window before the collision and away from their window after the collision. This is because both spaceships acquire a velocity perpendicular to the rail as a result of the collision. Imagine that observers in both ships see the rail moving away with a velocity of 20 metres per second. An observer in either of the ships will see the other ship moving away from the rail more slowly than their own ship as the lateral distance at right angles to the direction of relative motion is not dilated but time is. In terms of an observer in either spaceship the lateral momentum after the collision is not equal to that before the collision. To an observer sitting on the rail however the momentum after the collision is identical to that before the collision. This violates the principle of the conservation of momentum. Einstein resolved this dilemma by postulating that the momentum of an object must increase with velocity in just such a way as to cancel out the effect of time dilation. According to Einstein, the inertial mass of a body is not a constant but varies according to the change in the energy of the body. The momentum corrected for time dilation becomes rho momentum equals mv mass multiplied by velocity over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared. The relativistic mass thus becomes m subscript v equals m subscript 0 over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared. If v squared is equal to c squared, the relativistic mass will effectively become infinite. Measuring mass dilation. Around 1908, the first qualitative evidence for an increase in mass with velocity came from experiments examining the deflection of fast electrons in vacuum tubes. These particles had higher momentum than could be accounted for by their rest mass. In modern particle accelerators, electrons, protons and other particles have been found to need greater and greater energy input to accelerate them as the speed of light is approached. One result of this is the speed of light is a natural absolute speed limit because as the speed of light is approached, the mass approaches infinity. In terms of the frame of reference of the particles, however, there is no increase in mass. There is an ongoing debate about the concept of relativistic mass. Both supporters and critics of the theory of relativistic mass accept the concept of relativistic momentum. There is agreement on the increase in both inertia and gravitational attraction associated with increasing velocity. Some physicists, however, argue that the term mass should not be used for this as it is the result of an increase in the internal energy of the system and that using the term mass implies an increase in the quantity of matter present. Equivalence of mass and energy. Einstein proposed that the energy of a particle in motion is given by the formula E equals mc squared over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared. To quote Einstein, this expression approaches infinity as the velocity v approaches the velocity of light c. The velocity must therefore always remain less than c. However great may be the energies used to produce the acceleration, if we develop the expression for kinetic energy in the form of a series we obtain E equals mc squared plus m multiplied by v squared on 2 and so on and so on. The first term mc squared is the intrinsic energy or the rest energy of the body. Einstein argued that mass and energy are the same thing and that if all of the energy condensed into a given mass, m, 
were to be released, the amount of energy produced would be given by the formula E equals mc squared, where E is the energy released, m is the mass of the body, and c is the speed of light. And this is the formula for the intrinsic energy or the rest energy of a body. Speed limit. As an object accelerates, the mass of the object increases compared with its mass when at rest. This results in the energy put into accelerating the object becoming progressively less effective in terms of increasing the object's velocity as the velocity of the object increases. As the velocity of the object approaches an appreciable fraction of the speed of light, the proportion of energy devoted to increasing the mass of the object increases. Near the speed of light, any extra energy added to the system does not increase the velocity of the object, but only increases its mass. Summary. Due to time dilation, mass must increase in order for conservation of momentum to hold true in all frames of reference. Relativistic mass can be calculated using the formula m subscript v equals m subscript 0 over the square root of 1 minus v squared on c squared, where m subscript 0 is the rest mass as measured in the frame of reference of the mass, m subscript v is the mass in terms of an observer in a frame of reference moving relative to that of the mass, v is the relative velocity of the two frames of reference, and c is the speed of light in a vacuum. Mass and energy, according to Einstein, are interchangeable. They are the same thing. The rest energy of an object, or the amount of energy which could be obtained from it if all of its mass were converted into energy, is given by the formula E equals mc squared, where m is mass and c is the speed of light in a vacuum. As an object accelerates, the mass of the object increases compared with its mass when at rest. As the velocity of the object approaches an appreciable fraction of the speed of light, the proportion of energy devoted to increasing the mass of the object increases. Near the speed of light, any extra energy added to the system does not increase the velocity of the object, but only increases its mass. Mass dilation means that it is effectively impossible to accelerate an object with mass to the speed of light.